I have been interested in China since I was a kid. I don't know why. I wanted a change in culture. I also want to see the country for myself because you hear about China a lot in the news, and so I want to see what it was for real. I always wanted to explore the world. I looked all over the world to study, and China offered the best fit in terms of education, quality, and cost. I actually have close family members who have been to China and they just gave amazing reviews of the culture, the people, and the quality of education. Do you have any idea where are your classmates coming from? They're coming from all over the world, from Egypt, from Morocco, from Africa, all over the world. It's very diverse. I look forward to get a cultural experience. Um, speaking Chinese, I look forward to all of those things. You get to experience uh, Chinese culture first hand. Uh, I'm encouraging you to come. We're going to China. China is not like the Kunus Park, Rwanda, Shkorosha, Shodaganaka, Shodufai. When I got to China, I saw so many things I didn't expect. I didn't expect people to speak English. I didn't expect people to be friendly. Every part of China, they have their own specialty food. Everything is different. The safety, <laughs> that's the first thing that comes to my mind. How fast everything is in China, how fast and how convenient. That's what I really like about China. What's surprising to me is that I've learned so much about other cultures actually. Not only the Chinese culture, but like cultures from friends that are from like Spain, Germany, Italy, Korea, Indonesia, Thailand, Russia, Uzbekistan, Mongolia. You know, the list goes on. There are just so many people there. We have so many amazing people here, like besides the students, the professors are like they are so broad-minded. They inspire me in so many different aspects in my life. So I'm in this great environment, and that's basically what I wanted when I came here. Right? I would definitely suggest like to try it out. This is this is an amazing adventure. If this experience here in China is, has been incredible for me so far. It has only been four months, but I feel like I am such a different person in in, in way of seeing things and um, how I deal with people. The university looked really cool and the city is just gorgeous. So I was like, you know what, I might give it a shot. China has been really amazing when I first arrived. I remember just being in awe, like this city is crazy gorgeous. I did not think it would be like this. The city is very modern and it's really clean, very organized. It really opened my perspective, helped me become more open-minded and understand how you know, different people act from different countries or different cultures. EU 10 years ago is nothing like EU now. Mm -hmm. it, EU now is much, much more developed, it's much bigger, it's that transformation. It's just so beautiful to see. That's what I like about China developing so fast. Suzhou was very modern and the people were very kind. I think the living condition in Suzhou was really good. Life in Suzhou, it was really convenient, especially Alipay and WeChat. I find it really like a step up from the life that I have witnessed in India. Being in NextJTLU brought about the best in me, which I had not experienced anywhere else. So I like the infrastructure that I have, especially in Suzhou, like where I live in the Suzhou Industrial Park. Yeah. I literally have everything around me, the facilities that I have, the safety, just even people's friendliness, the local buses, the subway. It's really amazing because it gives you the opportunity to build your personal network, make full use of this opportunity, learn as much as you can. Just remember, such a platform is going to open you amazing doors in the future. China is going to be a big part of the future. Living in China is a whole new concept for us. Discover new cultures, new people. So that's like the best environment for us to, to study in. Actually, I have a really big important opportunity because if I finish my studies here, I will have many options to do. I want to go further than that. The best advice is that if you have the opportunity to come and study in China, just seize it. You will never regret that. I have been interested in China since I was a kid. I don't know why. I wanted a change in culture. I also want to see the country for myself because you hear about China a lot in the news and so I want to see what it was for real.
I always wanted to explore the world. I looked all over the world to study, and China offered the best fit in terms of education, quality, and cost. I actually have close family members who have been to China and they just gave amazing reviews of the culture, the people, and the quality of education. Do you have any idea where are your classmates coming from? They're coming from all over the world, from Egypt, from Morocco, from Africa, all over the world. It's very diverse. I look forward to get a cultural experience. Um, speaking Chinese, I look forward to all of those things. You get to experience uh, Chinese culture firsthand. Uh, I'm encouraging you to have. When I go to China, China is not like the Kuna Spark, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to China, I'm not sure if When I got to China, I saw so many things I didn't expect. I didn't expect people to speak English, I didn't expect people to be friendly. Every part of China, they have their own specialty food. Everything is different. The safety, <laughs> that's the first thing that comes to my mind. How fast everything is in China, how fast and how convenient. That's what I really like about China. What's surprising to me is that I've learned so much about other cultures actually. Not only the Chinese culture, but like cultures from friends that are from like Spain, Germany, Italy, Korea, Indonesia, Thailand, Russia, Uzbekistan, Mongolia. You know, the list goes on. There are just so many people there. We have so many amazing people here. Besides the students, the professors are like they're so broad-minded. They inspire me in so many different aspects of my life. So I'm in this great environment, and that's basically what I wanted when I came here. Right? I would definitely suggest like to try it out. This is this is an amazing adventure. This experience here in China is, has been incredible for me so far. It has only been four months, but I feel like I am such a different person in in, in way of seeing things and um, how I deal with people. The university looked really cool and the city is just gorgeous. So I was like, you know what, I might give it a shot. China has been really amazing when I first arrived. I remember just being in awe, like this city is crazy gorgeous. I did not think it would be like this, but the city is very modern and it's really clean, very organized. It really opened my perspective, helped me become more open-minded and understand how you know, different people act from different countries or different cultures. EU 10 years ago is nothing like EU now. Mm -hmm. EU now is much, much more developed, much bigger, it's that transformation. It's just so beautiful to see. That's what I like about China developing so fast. Sijiu was very modern and the people were very kind. I think the living condition in Sijiu was really good. Life in Suzhou, it was really convenient, especially Alipay and WeChat. I find it really like a step up from the life that I have witnessed in India. Being in XJTLU brought about the best in me, which I had not experienced anywhere else. So I like the infrastructure that I have, especially in Suzhou, like where I live in the Suzhou Industrial Park. Yeah. I literally have everything around me, the facilities that I have, the safety, just even people's friendliness, the local buses, the subway. It's really amazing because it gives you the opportunity to build your personal network, make full use of this opportunity, learn as much as you can. Just remember, such a platform is going to open you amazing doors in the future. China is going to be a big part of the future. Living in China is a whole new concept for us. Discover new cultures, new people. So that's like the best environment for us to, to study in. Actually, I have a really big important opportunity because if I finish my studies here, I will have many options to do. I want to go further than that. The best advice is that if you have the opportunity to come and study in China, just seize it. You will never regret that. Hi everyone, this is Nadia from China Admissions. Welcome to the Chinese University's MBA Online Open Day today on March 21st, 2021 at 4 p.m. Beijing time. So are you guys able to hear me uh, well? I hope you can hear me well and also you can see my screen here. And so we have five. Okay, thank you for 
uh, letting me know that you can hear me well. So we have five universities joining this uh, Chinese universities online open day today. And I'll give a brief introduction about uh, what is the event is all about and what you can expect after joining this event. So first of all is the schedule for today's online open day. We have five universities joining this online open day. And then each university will have 15 minutes of uh, presentation and five minutes of Q&A. And if you have any questions, anything at all, please drop your questions on a Q&A bar. So we and also the universities can help to check your questions and then we will help to answer that as well. And next thing is about the introduction about channel admission. So maybe this is already your several times uh, joining this online open day, or maybe this is your first time joining your online open day, but it's good that we can know each other better. And it's good that you also know who's behind the who's behind this online event. So uh, who's behind this online event is obviously channel admissions and channel admissions is an award winning platform for international students to apply to Chinese universities. And we partner with over 200 top Chinese universities and we have over 150,000 registered students on our platform. So international students can apply to any universities in China on our platform. And then in the recent years, we have won several awards as well, like the 2019 Foreign Entrepreneur Study. And then we got nominated by the Holland IQ China at Tech 100 in 2020. And then uh, in 2019 and also in 2020, our company got the Chaoyang Phoenix Grant from the Chaoyang government in Beijing. And a little bit about our team is that our team is a multicultural team from various backgrounds and countries. And our team members here at China Admission were also former students at Chinese University. So we know your struggle. We know all the journey applying to Chinese universities. We know how is it becoming uh, becoming a student at Chinese universities and living the life in China. So we will we are ready to help you start your journey studying at Chinese universities. And here is our platform on China Admissions where you can find the programs and also uh, start your online application. And then this is some of our partner universities and some of our partner universities are also joining today's online open day, which I will share later about the five universities that are joining today's online open day. And then the event format for uh, this Chinese universities online MBA open day is that each university will have a 15 minutes presentation and then it will be followed by a five minutes uh, Q&A with each of them. But don't worry, even if uh, don't worry because we know time is actually limited for the Q&A, but you can still drop your questions on a Q&A bar and we will try to answer every questions there on the chat as well. And then the universities will mainly introduce their programs, what it's like living on campus. They will introduce the admissions process and updates for the next intake, which is in September 2021. And they will also introduce the scholarships information available for international students. Last but not least, we will introduce how to apply online to Chinese universities on China admissions platform and why you should be applying on China admissions. I'll give you a one quick hint on why you should be applying on China missions, mainly because we offer free service to international students. And these are the five top universities uh, that are joining today's online open day. The first one we have Tongji University, and then we have Shanghai Chao Tong University. We will have Beijing Foreign Studies University, and then Asia Europe uh, International Asia Europe Business School. And last but not least, we will have a School of Management of Budan University. And this is the schedule for today's online open day. The first presenter will be Tongji University's Master of Global Management program, followed by Shanghai Chao Tong University's online EBA program. And then the next time, the next will be Asia Europe Business School, followed by Beijing Foreign Studies University International Business School. And lastly, uh, it will be uh, Fudan University MIT International MBA. And after that, channel admissions will give you some closing statement and also give you uh, more information about how to apply to Chinese universities for this year's intake. And so first I'll give the floor and I'll give the time to Miss Maggie from uh, Tongji University's Master of Global Management. And yeah, if you're ready, you can start your presentation now. I hope you guys enjoy this online info session and you will also get a lot more information from the university to be able to get uh, started with your online application this year. Thank you, Nadia. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to join us for today's online application webinar about Master in Global Management Program application for the fall 2021. 
And I'm Maggie Yue. I'm so nice to talk to you all. And I'm the program manager of MGM program. I'm so happy to be here to share with you all the information about our school and the program. And I'm hoping all of you enjoy your time today. So to start off, I'd like to address a warm welcome to you all. And let's firstly enjoy a video of School of Economics and Management, Tongji University. So let me share a screen with you all. Okay, thank you. Uh, after this beautiful video, let's now uh, briefly introduce our school and the program. So I'll show you a presentation now. So as our Tongjin University has a ranking over top 10 in mainland China by 2021 QS World Rankings. And it's under direct administration of Ministry of Education in China. We has a history of over 100 years when we build up strong connections with top universities worldwide. For the School of Economics and Management, we have over eight departments and four first level disciplines, including management science and engineering, business administration, applied economics, and public administration. To be noted, Tongji Sam is a triple crown business school accredited by AACSB, Aquas, and Amber, which are all very well known uh, top level accreditations for business schools. 
Also, uh, Tong Ji Sam has ranked 31st in the Financial Times 2020 for the ranking of Master in Management and ranked among the top 50 in the world from previous five years. Also, our career outlook is amazing because our in employment rate within three months after graduation would be 100% and the average income after graduation has been reached over 84,000 United States. As the MGM program's value for money has been ranking 10 globally and our career service has been ranked six worldwide. Our students come from worldwide we have over 630 uh, plus nationalities in the classroom and Chinese local students are mixed with international students. They share the classroom together, they can make friends together and they're working in a cross-cultural environment. So what MGM program offers? Actually, this program is intense to develop students' business knowledge and skills related to uh, business practice uh, and understanding Chinese business environment to create a community of diverse culture and also to build up students' international exposure for a leading uh, leadership roles in cross-cultural working environment. As for the curriculum plan, we have a tailored one for the international students, which are composed of foundation courses, in which including the Chinese language and Chinese culture, also followed by core courses and elective courses. The student can actually pick up what they are interested in to build up their career paths. Especially uh, to be noted, the strategic management and entrepreneurship courses are very popular. And also the doing business in China module catches students' eyes in digital innovation, business in negotiation, business law in China, and also for management economics in China. Uh, especially mentioned to you is the course named Integration Practice, which involves the professor leading the student in groups to do consultation projects in a company of our alumni connections to, uh, to learn knowledge in a real business world. And optionally, optionally the student can do an international exchange program, either for one semester non-degree exchange or for a double degree exchange for two semester with our global in partners. Uh, in the face of COVID-19, our SAM school also built up 44 classrooms called smart classrooms, which are well equipped with the online and on-site facilities for a smooth teaching. So for the program details, the duration is two years full time and entry days is September, 2021. The language of instruction is in English. And after completion of the program, you will be conferred a master of management science degree and a graduation certificate from Tongji. As for the overall study schedule for the First master and orientation week and will give you a warm welcome and a general picture of the uni and the city you're going to live and study. But all the coursework will be conducted and completed in first year. Uh, and also the academic lectures given by professors from well-known business schools and the leaders of global companies would open your horizon and deepen your understanding of the true business world. From the third semester, the thesis proposal and progress review would be made with the help of a supervisor, followed by midterm evaluation. And in the fourth semester, you would complete a thesis defense. 
But alternatively, some of students who want to go overseas also have an opportunity to apply for international exchange programs and also maybe a double degree. So for students with a study plan of a double degree would extend their study period to an uh, optional fifth semester. So it's very flexible for all the students to choose their study schedule according to their personal development. So now let's have a look at our map of international global partners. We have been building up over 100 partners worldwide and established over 17 non-degree exchange program and over due degree uh, and over 30 plus due degree programs. Each year, we have over 300 slots for our students to have a very great international exposure. So here you may see a list of a double degree opportunities. Uh, they are offered at mass level. They are across United States, Germany, Italy, France, and other countries. For example, you can see many well-known business school names in the list. Um, maybe uh, Manchester, ESCP Europe, MLM, Grenoble, MMU, ASIC Business School, and etc. So for the students are very interested in the application eligibilities. As an applicant, you must be over 18 years old, a non-Chinese citizen under 35, and you must have a bachelor degree. For the English proficiency requirement, you must submit an IELTS over six or total um, above 80 IBT test results. But if you're from an English speaking country, or if your undergraduate program is taught in English, then you do not need to submit this kind of test result. Also a GMAT or GRE will be a plus, but not compulsory. You can be uploaded to your online uh, portal as a supporting document if you have one. And our uh, admission is based on a comprehensive evaluation of all the ca candidates. We have no major limitation on your previous academic uh, background or undergraduate study. So uh, not only the GPA we are looking at, but also we'll take a look at the research ability, your working experience, your language level, any award or prizes in the competition or and also the recommendation letters. The online interview also plays a key role in the overall decision of admission. So how to apply? For the first step, you need to do an online application via Tongji portal. And then after receiving your documents, you can submit all documents in one PDF to my email. And then the students successfully pass the uh, document screening can be uh, can receive a uh, invitation for the interview. And then the students qualified would be notified with an admission decision and finally the enrollment confirmation. I'd like to have your attention that the deadline is April 30. 2021, so it's around a month to go. You have a plenty of time to, to prepare all the documents. So for the details, you can consult the, Chinese, uh, the China admission teams. They can help you with all the application uh, procedure. And also if you have any questions, you can uh, scan the QR code at the bottom to register your interest. And also you can receive an email admission package to have a check with all the details. So you can take a picture of this presentation. So next come to the tuition details. So our program's tuition is 79,000 yuan a year. 
So totally it would be 158,000 yuan for the whole program. For self-finance students, our Tong Ji San has a proposal to award students with excellent academic performance with a 10,000 yuan per person grants. And now if you still have any questions regarding the application and program, you can contact me later or you can contact, contact the China admission team, they will help you out. And for your information, we will have a, a very detailed webinar next week and you're all welcome to attend. We invite our current students to share their experience of their study and life in Tongji. So please come to join us next week. Please take a picture of the QR code if you're interested. So now is the Q&A session, Nadia. Any questions yes. from the students? Thank you, Maggie, for uh, the wonderful presentation about the MGM program. So we do have uh, some questions, some questions from the students. So for yes. example, um, first question. So, because you mentioned that uh, if students join this MGM program, they actually have a higher chance, like uh, in terms of getting the employment after graduate. So what do you think yeah. are the job opportunities for international students after graduation in Shanghai particularly? Oh, actually, uh, our school and the, the uh, university level have a career development office, which uh, regularly post any job position and part-time uh, opportunities in the WeChat official account. And also we have our a uh, career development counselor, which is a, uh, a team that may help the student on one-to-one -one mentoring on their personal development plan. Mm -hmm. So we have also have any many micro courses and seminars from our alumni to guide the student to develop their um, career paths. So that's a lot of help that the students would, uh, would be offered. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. So what about uh, opportunities for internship? Is it a part of the curriculum as well to do internship? Actually, the internship is not a compulsory part and it's not, you know, uh, required for any credits. But mm -hmm. we do recommend the students after their first year of coursework, they can do a lot of internships in Shanghai because Shanghai is a financial center and um, really the top 500 uh, companies in China and worldwide uh, would give them a huge exposure of the job in terms and opportunities. Mm -hmm. So it's Definitely. very important to let them apply as soon as possible to secure their uh, slot. Sure, sure, yeah. I think uh, probably like one last question. So you mentioned that students also have the opportunity to do exchange program at yes. Tongji's partnering university. So what yes. exactly are the process of doing the exchange program or is there any specific requirement for them to do the mm -hmm. exchange program later? Normally speaking, our partner universe, we have agreement on respective partnerships. So um, actually after enrollment, there will be a very detailed information sheet for our partner programs for uh, either a double degree or an exchange for a short time. But basically they will require like an IELTS or TOEFL, a valid report, and maybe an average score of their undergraduate program. So normally speaking, uh, IELTS 7 would be a safe um, you know, requirements. And also um, we have many choices for the students because the list is very long, you know, <laughs> we can't share the list to you now, but I think to enrollment, the student will get a very detailed plan. Mm -hmm. And normally uh, uh, what I want to mention is most mm -hmm. of the exchange programs are tuition free only except um, just a few United States programs would pay some tuition, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be an awesome opportunity for international students. Not only they can study in Shanghai, but they can yeah, also sure. 
go at the partner in universities in Europe or US or other countries. Yeah, it's a huge advantage. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, I think uh, those are all like the main questions the student asked for today. And mm -hmm. don't forget, guys, Tongji University will have another a webinar coming up soon. So you can check it on their previous slides they already shared. But if you missed that, you can actually check the information on China Admissions um, blog as well. So please make sure to register if you still want to hear more information about the NGM program at Tongji University. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you all. Thank you so Hope much, to Maggie, see you. for sharing. Hope see to you see you soon. Bye-bye. Well. Thank you. Bye -bye. Next up, we have uh, the next university, which is uh, Shanghai Chaotong University for the online, uh, online EBA program, Elite Business of Administration program. So I suppose, uh, Jack from Shanghai Chaotong, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here, and I'm going to share my PowerPoint, okay? Okay, perfect. Just minutes. Uh, let me just do it. Just a minute. Yeah. This one? Have, have, you, have you seen my PowerPoint? Uh, I think it's still... Yes, yes. I can see it Have now. you got it? Yes, yes. No, it's okay. Okay. Let's start my point. Okay, Shanghai Jiao University with a history of uh, 125 years. Yeah, so you always are trying to be the, the top three or top four, you know, university out of 2,000 universities in China and uh, 34 world ranking. Okay, the world ranking is 34. Yeah, so as yes, global EBA pro program, and actually we started this program. This is actually a non degree program. We started this program actually um, one and a half years ago. Uh, now we have uh, like people from 64 nations, countries. And uh, yeah, the program is designed based on, uh, yeah, based on 100 business talks. Yeah, so I'll explain it a bit later about it. Okay, we try to be the leading innovative program course, you know, in the China and the world. Yeah. Okay, Lorenzo Lucati is our head of EBA and uh, I'm the founder of Colonel BBA. Annie Young is the, uh, any young is responsible for the marketing sales. Okay, so this is of lectures, you know, many of the lectures has been stayed with us for many, many years. So yeah, you can see, I can't see my mouse. Oh, here, okay, sorry. Okay, now I got it, okay. So yeah, so we have various, um, very professional and practical lectures, you know, so some of them very um, famous writer, some are entrepreneurs, yeah. Some of uh, them are very high level people, yeah. Yeah, so these are our courses, you know, we have, uh, actually we have um, the trial courses every Saturday and Tuesday. Okay, every Saturday with the course, okay. Lectures. Okay, a global executive business administration program, global EBA program, we started half and half a year. His, then uh, 290 people from 64 nations uh, taking this course, taking this program. Uh, the value of a uh, key value of global EBA program is connecting, sharing, we'll connect you and with our we'll connect you with uh, our lectures. You know, you share resources, share experiences with each other. So the course is designed actually designed based on uh, five modules: microeconomic, integration management, marketing sales, finance, financial, and uh, venture capital investment, leadership, and personal skills improvement. Yeah, based on the five modules, we create more than 100 topics. Okay, you can, as you can see here is the course, you know, before six March, you know, every three months we make the roster. And uh, yeah, so when people enrolled actually in the study period, actually it's, uh, uh, it's like uh, three months. Okay, so every three months, people can graduate. After three, after three months, people actually can continue with us, okay. As you can see here, uh, we have the, all the courses on every, actually every Saturday we have courses, you see. Yeah, then um, Tuesday evening, you know, we have uh, we have the course, we have uh, an event, okay? So the one half hour uh, course and uh, lecture, and uh, then we have uh, the networking event every Tuesday. 
Every Saturday we have the the course for three hours. Every Saturday we have the courses. You know, some of the topics is very interesting. It's very practical. Okay, so this is our campus and our lectures. You know, so yeah, of course you can scan any WeChat to get more information about the course. Okay, then you can also get the uh, uh, the application form from any. Okay, you can see here, you know, it's one of our participants, uh, cohort, which have uh, about 15 people. Then you can see people from, from various nations, various countries, and then you can see some of them, you know, uh, coming from very uh, big enterprises. And uh, yeah, so you can see the bank, Bosch, and uh, people from Constantine. Yes, the people from high level. And uh, then you can see here, 20% of them are CEO, CFO, CEOs, and 70% uh, of the participants, you know, the, I mean, 20% of them are top management, and 20% of them actually um, is from middle management, like uh, directors, managers, and uh, business owners. Then 10% uh, of them are people from embassy, and chamber, and senior ones, senior ones, and some junior ones. Okay, so this of a certificate, yes. Uh, every three, every month, actually, we have the graduation. You know, every month we have start, starting, uh, starting date, and uh, every month we also have a graduation date. So after three months, you get a graduation ceremony. You know, we're going to take a one photo from front of Shanghai General University, and we are going to hand out the certificate, you know, to them. Okay, where's my mouth? Okay. Okay, the next starting date, actually the 27th of March, which will be the next uh, Saturday, you know, will be the, uh, yeah, will be the starting date. After three months, people get a graduate. Okay, yes, uh, study period, actually three months. Okay, after three months, we have uh, all the updating courses, you know, you can actually can, you can still, you can still join all the courses. Yeah, it's like lifelong, okay? So you, once you, pay the tuition fee you can stay with us for all the time yeah so you are going to be in a group okay in this group um you can meet all the people all the participants from right from last year there are 208 people there yeah so yeah so we are going to send out every every uh set before every saturday you know or tuesday we send out the course information so you can join another course online and on site. Admission requirements actually is uh, university graduation or three years work experience. So this is the admission requ requirement. Okay, how do I present the application form to us for application? So or you can also you can contact China Admission for the application form, and also you can add and it's WeChat, you know, so for application. Okay, you can just scan this, scan this QR and uh, add any. Yeah, or this is her. Uh, her number, okay. It's also WeChat number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the tuition fee originally is thirty two thousand eight hundred RB. With the scholarship, you only have to pay six thousand eight hundred RB. Okay. Only thousand eight hundred qualified. Okay. He sends the application form to us and you know, we are gonna tell you if you are qualified, you know, the scholarship, you know. So if you're qualified, after you after you have qualified, you know, so you only have to pay six thousand eight hundred RMB instead of thirty two thousand eight hundred RMB. Okay, so the tuition fee is going to be raised very soon. Okay, so the next one will be eight thousand eight hundred. If you don't enroll now, if you enroll few in the future, you're going to pay thousand eight hundred RMB. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, no, and enjoy global day. You know, so yeah, so if you have uh, the yeah, if you have any question, you can ask. Okay, so this is my uh, little speech. Okay. Uh, hello, Jack. Sorry, I think we are yeah, hi, hi, Nadia. for a bit. Can you please repeat that uh, tuition fee part? Bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me, let me explain to you. Have you... Yes. Okay, let me from here, okay? How to apply, should we, should we do yes, that? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. How to okay. apply... Uh, please uh, send us the application form, you know, then we're going to tell you if you are qualified or not, okay? So 
there are two ways, three several ways actually. You know, the fastest way actually is just uh, contact channel and emissions for the application form. Application form, okay, here is form, yeah. Or you can just add any switch chat. You know, so this is the mobile phone number or scan any switch chat, you know, to get us get the application form. Yeah. So okay. The tuition fee actually 32,800 RMB. With scholarship, you only have to pay 6,800 RMB. Okay, so after you, if you are interested in the program, you can scan any switch chat or you know send the send your request to channel missions yeah so we are going to send you the application form okay so you just fill in and send back to us by wechat or by email you know then we are going to send you back the if you are qualified for the scholarship or not if you are qualified first for the scholarship you don't have to pay 32,800 rmb you only have to pay 6,800 rmb yeah, so that is the tuition fee you're going to pay. And this, after you pay the tuition fee, you start three months yeah, study journey. Okay. Every Saturday or Tuesday, you can join the course. Okay. So after three months, you are going to graduate. You are going to graduate. Then you can you are going to get certificate from Shanghai University. Yeah. Then, yeah. So I, as I said, this is one is a non degree course. Okay. It's a non degree certificate. Okay. Then actually it's a very business course, very interesting and uh, business-like and then uh, practical course, okay? So we're gonna raise the fringe fee to 8,800 RMB, okay? So if you send the application form now, you can still get the tuition fee for 6,800 RMB, okay? So also this course, as I said, it's kind of lifelong learning. We're gonna add you to the group, which have 280 people from 64 nations worldwide, yeah, so you are going to, you can contact with them and talk with them, okay? As you are alumni of Shanghai University Global EVA program. Yeah, so then, yeah, so that's it, okay? So you can scan the WeChat, you know, to get more information, get full information of this course. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you, Jack. Pleasure. Yeah, we we have a couple of questions about the okay. online EBA program so students can get more understanding as well about this uh, online global EBA program. So the first okay. is, uh, what is actually the requirement to get the tuition fee scholarships for this program? Okay, as I said, you know, so if you are, if you are, uh, if you are a graduate from the university, you know, so we, uh, or you have three years, more than three years working experience, you know, so uh, you can get the scholarship. Okay, of course you still have to apply. Okay, how to apply? Okay, you just send uh, send the application form to us. Okay, so how you get the application form? You can contact China Mentions for the application form. You can also add any WeChat, you know, to to get a scholarship uh, to get the application form. Okay, so how to add any WeChat? So here's the number. You can add the WeChat or you can scan the WeChat. Yeah, scan the QR, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, noted. And then the next question is, because uh, we saw that one of the requirement is actually to have a university graduation diploma or a working experience of at least three years. But what if uh, there are undergraduate students, those who are still studying bachelor's program and is interested to apply? Are they welcome to apply as well? Uh, but we we do you know have some students we can't uh, make it too much too many students because uh, this mm -hmm. is a because many of the participants at level is very high you know the group age group actually is from uh, twenty five to forty five then we have mm -hmm. senior ones you know so we do have some younger ones but uh, we can't uh, have too many of them okay so if you are mm -hmm. they are very understanding uh, the said the application phone says that. Uh, uh, they have uh, some working experience, and then you know we are we're going to consider considering about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noted that. So does uh, this program help to give business advice as well? If let's say the students already have the business. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to get, get give them a lot of business advice. You know, so the key value of Shanghai University Global EBA program actually is the uh, connecting sharing. Okay, so. As you can see that we have uh, uh, our, you know, we have a 
okay, so you can see here, you know, we have um, very uh, various, you know, um, lectures and from various industries, okay, so they are very experienced. So you can ask any question, you know, to, for the, to them, okay. We only, uh, if you are a participant of this program, you know, we're going to help you with the business career also, because we have many resources, you know, then uh, people are going to help you, you know, help each other. Yeah, yeah. So many, some of, the, as I know, some of the um, participants have already got the uh, job, you know, from, from other people, you know, this group, you know, so people, you know, when you are in this group, you know, it's like a family, okay, so they're going to help each other. And also our lectures is very keen to, you know, help you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, uh, can can the students also get access to all the previous classes, for example, from the previous cohort? Yes, uh, that's right. So after you wrote, you know, so uh, as you as I, I, can, I know, you know, we have already uh, ninety one times, okay, ninety one mm -hmm. sessions already, you know, right from September of uh, two thousand nineteen. So uh, we have all the recordings, okay. We have all the every 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 time we have recorded, okay. Then we are going to send the videos link to you. Okay, so you can access all the courses yeah, previously and also materials. Every time we, have, we are going to send out PPT, PowerPoint, you know, to the group. Okay, so you can access all the videos, courses, and uh, materials also. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. That's great. So it's going to be a wonderful opportunity because students can get, you know, all the materials they need. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So, uh, what exactly do you look for in students? I mean, what kind of students do uh, does the online uh, M EBA program look for? Okay. So, global EBA program actually we look for students actually very outstanding ones. Okay. So we uh, hope people you know who, who have work, some working experience so they can understand how to do business in China. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. how to do business uh, because the program mainly focus on how to do business in China. You know. So we. Uh, yeah, so if they have some business experience, they can understand what the lecture is talking about. Otherwise, um, yeah, so that we need them to have some working experience. That's very mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Note that. Yeah, I think the last uh, final two questions. Uh, this is, I think, more targeted for foreigners because, you know, there are lots of foreigners in China as well who wants to thrive in China's business world, for example. So, do you have any tips for foreigners in China or international students in China if they want to succeed in business, in having business or in their career in China? Oh, okay, okay. That's a very good question. Okay, uh, before that, I have another one. Okay, so yes. So if you want to be successful in business, as your business is different, okay, with the academic, okay? So academic, you know, people do the, the research, you know, so mm -hmm. uh, there's a right and a wrong, but uh, uh, because, you know, um, research, you know, so this kind of scientific, right? But business is different, okay? So business always have third option, okay? There's no, uh, there's no right and wrong, okay? They're just the business, the business, business is different, okay? So they, uh, it's very practical, you know, so we tell people a lot of uh, real life cases in business world. So that is, a, yeah, so uh, if you want to do business, they, you, you, um, you have to understand there's the third option, you know, so, so always, always solutions is very important. Okay, you always, have to always think about the solutions. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so because uh, people who are doing uh, academic uh, research or something, you know, they always uh, ask a lot of questions, but the business, you know, so it's, the, it's different. Okay, so I mean, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, so yeah, business, uh, you have to understand uh, the uh, business has three, third option. Yeah, so that's um, yeah. uh, my, my key point, yeah. Mm. Solutions, right, I think yeah. the, the final question is, um, do you think it's important to learn Chinese for foreigners to be able to succeed in China? Um, okay, that's a very good question. So people, of course, if you, you know, it's not, a, it's people, okay, of course, Learning a language is it's very complex, mm. okay. So, and Chinese language is very complex, okay. There's no, it not, it's not, uh, it's not uh, necessary. I mean, I mean, not uh, you, don't, you don't have to learn Chinese uh, to start to business, okay. If you want to do business, just start now, okay. Don't wait another, you know, three years, you know, five years to, to start to do business, okay. So, you don't have, you know. You, you, you just understand, then you just have to understand some basic things, and this, you can start, okay, like, like learning English. 
Many people think, okay, I, I need to know 10,000 words, you know, and then I, I, I have to remember 10,000 words, you know, I can start to mm -hmm. communicate. Okay, you don't have to do that, okay? You have to, you just go on the streets, you know, like I said, you know, just go to Nanjing Lu here, a very famous road in Shanghai. You know, just go there and meet uh, maybe 20 foreigners and talk to them, you know, then you, you, you already know how to, how to speak, okay, how to talk, okay? So the learning Chinese also, you know, so you don't have to uh, stay in one room, you know, uh, stay in the uh, school uh, to, to learn, you know, so many things, you know, so to know so many things and you, until you can start to talk to Chinese. No, you don't have to, okay? You just know some basic things, you know, you just practice, 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 start to communicate. Yeah, so I, I don't think it's so necessary, you know, to learn Chinese. Uh, you can always find the uh, solutions, okay? So mm -hmm. business, as I said, business is business, okay? Just to start to build business. At least, you know, uh, you can do a small business, you know, you can start small, you know, then you know, you know, you start to, um, learn Chinese, okay, or is, is a, okay, I, I have to learn Chinese, I have to be so professional, you have, I have to be, understand everything they say, you know, then I have to say everything, you know, I want to say, you know, so I'm be very flexible, then I have to start a business, no, you know, then you have to wait another three years or five years, and you still haven't started to do the business, okay, yeah, if you don't do the business, do it now, okay, yeah, you can always find the solutions, okay, if you can't understand language, you can always find the third solution, the third a third uh, option, okay? You can ask somebody to help you with it. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Thanks. I think that's a really good advice and that's really helpful to boost the uh, confidence in us foreigners to be able to succeed in China. And yes, guys, please remember what Jack has said. It's all about starting your action. So just don't wait until like, you know, to, until you can, let's say, excel Chinese language or whatever. Just start it now and then learn by doing through like the whole, uh, uh, learn by doing in the process. Yes, you know, you just learn 10 sentence, okay? 10 sentence, you know, you just, okay, for instance, okay, you can start like this, okay? If you want to do a very, very small business, you know, you just have to practice, you know, the necessary uh, Chinese mm -hmm. you know, sentences you can, you need, okay? You need those things, okay? For, for, for instance, okay, you want to, sell something or do something, you know, just uh, prepare, you know, the, the chi necessary Chinese you need, okay? Then you can just start. Then, you know, learning by doing, yeah. 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 Otherwise you say, okay, I, 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 want to, I, I want to do business, you know, but I'm not <coughs> Chinese. I have to start one book or two books, you know, then after you do one book, two books, your brain changes, your brain changes, mm -hmm. okay? Your brain starts to change to what? Change to the system, you know, have system, you know, the change to, um, Another mindset, okay? So it's a learning mindset. It's not a business mindset, okay? So, you know, mm -hmm. the business mindset is to find the solutions, you know, the, you know then I try like, uh, anyway, so I have to spend a little bit more time to explain my, my idea, yeah. okay? So because, you yeah. know, the, the problem, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so, it's yeah, okay. so, uh, so the China, yeah, Chinese philosophy, you know, the Chinese, you know, the Chinese learning English, the problems of them learn, uh, they learning English is uh, uh, they, they use a, the way of studying mathematics, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. right and wrong, you know, four options, okay? So mm -hmm. they can all never, you know, be success, success, mm -hmm. you know, to, to start to speak, okay? They can't, mm -hmm. yeah, because they have mindset already become A, B, C, D, you know, not uh, how are you, I'm fine, and you, I'm mm -hmm. fine too. <laughs> you know, anyway, it's a very complicated. Yeah. Yeah, so no problem. Uh, we, yeah, thanks. Yeah, we need to, thanks a lot, Jack, for you know for explaining and for like giving all the advice. And thanks a lot for joining online open day this time. And yeah, we have to move on to the next presenter. This is, and yeah, yes, thank you for okay. your time and for all the sharing. Great pleasure. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay next up we have uh, we have uh, Asia Europe Business School (ABS) in Shanghai. We so I think we have uh, Cindy who will present more about ABS program in Shanghai. Uh, yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes, indeed. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Cindy Zhao. I'm from Asia Euro Business School of East China Normal University. Uh, I'm very happy that I can, uh, today I will introduce you about our school and our program. Uh, AABS is a joint venture uh, business school operated between uh, East China Normal University and EM Leung Business School. 
uh, we are offering double degree from one of uh, from one top French business school and uh, one leading universities in France. Eastern China Normal University is one of leading universities in China, and also it's one of the double first class university. It's ranked the top 16 Chinese mainland university in THE rankings in 2019, and it's top four in the ranking of international outlook category. There are uh, 11 and, and, and this lines rank world top 1% according to the ESI global ranking. EM Leung Business School was founded in 18, 18, 1872. It's one of Europe's leading business schools. It's ranked number four business school in France and number 27 in THG Global Employability University ranking in 2017. It's also top uh, 20 in Europe in um, financial terms, uh, Europe, European Business School ranking 2016. It's also one of the 1% business schools in the world which have the triple inter international uh, accreditation. It's also a European uh, uh, fortuner in the field of entrepreneurship Enterprise Incubator ranked number one in France. Uh, here are our programs. We are offering um, bachelor degree programs. Uh, we have double degree global BBA program, Bachelor of Business Administration with two plus two pathway. We also have single degree uh, Bachelor of Business Administration, which is offered by ECNU. Um, also, this is our new uh, option, but it's, uh, it's, it's still under discussion. So maybe we are open for next year, uh, which is a single degree bachelor, uh, bachelor program plus a single degree master programs, uh, which with um, 3.5 years um, uh, in, in ECNU and also uh, half year in EM Lyon uh, and also uh, back to China for the last one year. Uh, still only need to uh, take five years and uh, uh, they will achieve a, a bachelor degree plus a master uh, a master degree. Uh, we, we have a new uh, special, uh, uh, specialization. Uh, one is AI and business and uh, the second one is innovation and entrepreneurship. This is open since 2020. And for the master degree program, we are offering double degree master's program in international business, global management, and China studies. This is a, um, a double degree, and the student will take one semester in France. And also, uh, we have a single degree master's program in international business. This is offered by ECNU, so students will complete the whole program all in, in China. Uh, so for also from this year, we are we have a new um, pathway which is called a chief, uh, chief technology officer. This is a new option uh, with additional courses related to uh, technology, uh, science, and uh, uh, engineering. And so for those students who has uh, such um, background. Uh, this is our program details uh, for the duration. Bachelor program is four years. Uh, for the uh, bachelor plus master program, five years, and for the master program, uh, all for um, two years. Uh, for the different uh, program, we have different pathways. So, for example, for double degree BBA program, we have two plus two pathway, uh, two years in Shanghai, China, and then followed by two years in in uh, Paris or Saint Etienne, France, uh, at EM Lyon Business uh, Business School campus. Uh, after student they graduate, they will get one bachelor degree of management from East China Normal University and also a global BBA degree from EM Lyon Business School. Uh, for the master program, uh, the uh, student they can choose double degree or single degree. Double degree, a student will take one semester in France. Single degree, a student will complete the whole program at ECNU Shanghai. Uh, so for a double degree master program, student will get one uh, master degree in international business from ECNU and also a master of science in management from, uh, this is a Gangli Gola program, it's a G program, uh, which is very uh, uh, high standard uh, uh, master program in France. This is from EM Lyon Business School. And for the single degree, a student will get the uh, international business uh, 
master degree from UCNU. Uh, we have only one intake every year, which is in September, and uh, application deadline is the end of June. Uh, the we have ABS has very strong cross-border faculties and uh, teaching resources. The teaching team is composed of full-time professors from AEBS, senior professors selected by EM Lyon in France, and also senior professors from ECNU. Currently, uh, we have about 225, uh, uh, 255 students in total uh, in AEBS, and uh, more than uh, almost 40% are international students. Uh, they are from more than uh, 36 different countries. So for the undergraduate uh, aid students, 35% uh, are international students. And for the postgraduate aid students, uh, more than half are, inter are international students. They, are, they will be mixed in one classes. Uh, uh, so with uh, English courses, intensive learning in French, Chinese, and foreign students, they learning in one class. The program improves students' cross-cultural communication skills. Students can go to France for further studies. Uh, which enables students to pursue internships and career development in France or in Europe. Uh, AEBS also provides field study in company discovery in company consulting project, innovation project to increase students' understanding of business practice, innovation, and uh, startup gradually so as to enhance the integration of theory and uh, practice and develop employability and entrepreneur ability. The school also provides students a platform outstanding of the uh, classroom to demonstrate and improve their personal abilities through the organizing and the participation in collective and community-based activities students can integrate into the school culture and realize the overall development of mankind. The uh, we uh, the emper employment pro uh, prospects. The stress is a globalized vision, solid um, professional knowledge, excellent ability of international communication, and the ling linguistic advantage of three languages: uh, Chinese, English, and French. Uh, all of our program are taught English, but uh, at the same time, students they will learn Chinese uh, languages, and for better program students, they will also learn French languages. Um, career development: uh, We have multinational corporations and foreign-funded enterprises in various industries, as well as management positions of government agencies and public institutions. Especially students can engage in business operations and management in various countries along the Belt and Road. Uh, further education opportunities. So after our students complete the program and get their degrees, students they can uh, continue their master program at uh, uh, Yamlion Business School or apply to a world class university for their further studies. Here are the um, part of the companies that we are working with. Uh, they will provide our students uh, opportunities for internships and also their, for their future careers. Uh, this is the entry requirement for the bachelor program and uh, high school diploma with transcript and English equivalent to I 6.0 or TOEFL IBT 85. Uh, if the high school uh, is uh, in, taught in English entirely, so, student, so that student, they can be exempted from um, the English requirements. And we don't have any Chinese uh, language requirements for the element, but HSK4 certificate is a precondition for receiving the Chinese bachelor degree. Um, yeah, this is for the bachelor degree students. And for the master program students, we require a bachelor degree above, and there is no major restrictions. Uh, English is uh, equivalent to IO 6.5 or TOEFL IBT 90. Uh, and same for if, if the student, they take their bachelor degree uh, entirely English, then they can be exempted from the English requirement. And there is no requirement for Chinese language uh, but HSK3 will be the precondition for receiving the Chinese uh, master program. Uh, the student, uh, there's 
no need to worry because we also offering Chinese language classes from the elementary level for the students so that to help them to achieve their, uh, their precondition uh, before they graduate. Uh, interview we also require a face to face uh, or a Skype uh, a Skype or or maybe through a ten, uh, ten cent um, app uh, so uh, so that they can do the online interviews and for the uh, uh, application documents uh, it's listed here um, you can have a look and uh, this is the tuition fee. For the single degree program, so they only need to pay the tuition fee to ECNU. But for the double degree program, students, uh, they will pay additional uh, tuition to EM Leung Business School. Uh, accommodation, we, uh, we will uh, offer the on-campus accommodation when students uh, study in ECNU. But when they uh, progress to France, uh, student, they will need to, uh, you know, find an apartment, uh, but we have uh, apartment agencies and they can support. Scholarships uh, for the single degree program student, for the ECNU single degree program uh, student, they can apply through CSC uh, uh, or, or the Shanghai government scholarship. Um, and for the double degree program, it's not covered. Um, the part when one student progress to France and uh, for their tuition and the living course in France. But we will also have a, a, school, a school scholarship, which is up to 20,000 uh, equivalent to uh, about uh, 3,000 euro for students. Here are some uh, pictures about the, the campus. Uh, we, we have our <clears throat> AABS building uh, located at Zizhou International Education Park. But for our AABS students, they will have classes both in uh, ECNU Minghong campus and also AABS uh, building at Zizhou International Education Park. You can see the campus is very uh, you know, uh, modern, very, uh, you know, with very high standard facilities. And we are offering the dormitories uh, at the Zhu International Education Park. And also you can choose to stay uh, at ECNU Minghong campus. This is the pictures of the EM Lyon Business School uh, campuses in France. They have three campuses. Uh, one's in Lyon, one is in Paris, and also another one is in, in saint Etienne. Uh, okay, I think that's all what I, <clears throat> I would like to share uh, about our school and, uh, and the program. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or you need any assistance to your application, you can contact me uh, through email or WeChat, or you can contact China Admissions for their assistance with your application or uh, any inquiries. Uh, okay, so that, that's all. And uh, if you have any questions, um, you are welcome to ask. Hi, Cindy. So thank you for the wonderful presentation about AEBS uh, Bachelor and Master's program. And the students have some questions here that they ask on the Q&A. So first is from Ewan. Uh, what kind of GPA would you look for to apply for, uh, to apply to uh, AEBS? Okay, uh, normally we will look at the GPA above uh, 3.0, but um, this uh, GPA is not the, you know, the only one we are looking for. So we will com combine your uh, academic background, your language ability, your communication skills, your motivation, and the interview also uh, is also very important uh, to have the uh, final, you know, admission decision. Uh, so yeah, GPA is not the uh, the, the 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 only only one we are looking for. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, right, understood. So next question from Sandroid. This is about the required documents. So yeah. what is an e-portfolio? Okay, that's for bachelor program student. It's not uh, necessary for master program student. Mm -hmm. So if for the bachelor program student, e-portfolio means also a. Uh, 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 you know, you can just use whatever um, format you want. It's an e-format. Uh, e uh, for example, you can use PPT slide. You can use a video format uh, just to introduce yourself uh, uh, and also your, uh, your background, your ex experience, and uh, what, uh, why you choose this program. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's oh, okay. just another, you know, format to show yeah. your, you know, uh, yeah, skills. So it's kind of similar to personal statement, but in yeah, yeah, either yeah. PPT or video format to make yes. it more interactive. Yes, yes, understood. Right. So another question from Tisha: Does ABS provide any sort of scholarships for single degree master program? Uh, we have we we don't offer additional uh, you know scholarships, but uh, you can apply. You can try the government scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you look at our um, tuition, uh, you can uh, you can see it's actually it's quite low compared to other similar programs, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, and I can let you know that actually uh, from next semester, uh, for next year, uh, so 2022 intake, uh, our tuition will be raised a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but for, uh, but for 2021, we will stay the same. Mm -hmm. Noted. Right, so I think final two questions, probably. Uh, what is the requirement for students to continue their study to Amelion Business School in French? Uh, yes, for for bachelor program, and um, it's uh, sorry, um, I can uh, start with the math program first. Uh, the math program actually, uh, we uh, there is no additional uh, entry requirement uh, for you to uh, progress to Yamlion because uh, before you applied, uh, we will look at uh, you know uh, there will be the uh, professors from Yamlion and also professor from e uh, ECNU uh, will we'll give you the, the final admission um, uh, decision. So the admission decision will be the double degree. So you will automatically uh, progress to Yamlion in the second semester. Okay, but for the bachelor program, uh, there, there will be the additional um, uh, entry requirement. Uh, one is your GP, uh, your your GPA uh, uh, from your first two years uh, studies at ECNU, and the second one is your language. Uh, so you have to achieve at least uh, you know uh, IO six point six point five or TOEFL IBT uh, eighty five. Uh, so that you can get the uh, French visa and progress to EMU Business School in your third year. Mm -hmm. Noted that. Uh, additional questions still about the double degree program. Sure. Uh, is it necessary for students to learn French if they are going to go for the double degree, knowing that the Amelon Business School is located in French? And if it is necessary, is there any preparation that ABS gives to international students to learn the language? Uh, yes, uh, especially for the bachelor degree program, you will, uh, you will learn French language from your year one. So the mm -hmm. first two years, you will learn your uh, to learn French from the uh, elementary level, and then when you progress to France, you will you will still you will continue your French uh, language studies in France, and uh, um, if uh, especially if you want to stay in France and you want to have the internships in France, uh, you'd better learn the French language well. Because you know, uh, in France, uh, if you uh, you can speak uh, French, uh, then you will have you know bigger chance to get the uh, internships and also stay uh, when you graduate and get a job there. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. I guess that's all for the questions and also for the sharing today. Thanks a lot, Cindy, for all your sharing about ABS bachelor's or master's program. Yeah, we are welcome. And, yeah. yeah. We'll see you in another time. And if you guys want to apply, you can check it out later on Chat Missions platform. Thank and you. Thank to... you all. Thank you. Have Thank a nice you, day. Bye-bye. Uh, now we have to move on to uh, the next presenter, which is from BFSU, Beijing Foreign Studies University International Business School. Hi, ladies. So, hi. Yeah. Hi everyone, this is Jing, the Senior Regional Manager from IBS BFSU. Nice to meet you so much. Can you hear me? Yes, Ms. Jing, we can hear you. Okay, great. Shall I start? Yes, please. Okay, yeah. So uh, before we start, uh, you can scan the QR code and follow us by social media. One second. Okay, 
So my presentation will from this full part. Now, first, I will give you some idea about BFSU. Uh, so BFSU uh, belongs to 211 project. That means the top 100 university in China. And people call us a cradle of diplomats because uh, if you go to the embassy in the other country and ask the staff there, they may tell you they graduate from BFSU. And we were founded in 1941, which is even earlier than the Republic of China. And we are the first uh, foreign language study universities in China. And here are some languages we taught in BFSU. So far, we have 101 languages being taught in BFSU. So this give you the opportunity to uh, pick up another language. For example, we have uh, uh, French and we have Germanese. So if you have time, you can get another language except Chinese and uh, English. So let's, uh, we have many few, um, many famous alumni. So they are, they work very successful in some areas. For example, we have Mr. Yang Lan. Uh, she's a very famous news journalist. And now let's move on to uh, my apartment, International Business School. So all the majors are related to uh, business. We have English taught program and Chinese taught program, but no matter in our, you are in English or you are in Chinese, you will study these uh, two languages at the same time. And our faculties are very international. I would like to say, uh, 90, uh, I would like to say 75% of the teacher are from uh, other countries. And our students are from uh, many different countries as well. And the students' satisfaction are number two in China. And the very important, one very important point, uh, point is that our graduate's first year salary ranks top five in China. So here is BFSU. You can find these numbers, you can find this information online. So that means uh, our students are very competitive when they graduate. And that also means the market are very satisfied with our students. We have two campers. One is in Beijing, the capital city, and another one is in Foshan, Guangdong province. The reason why we choose two different campers is because China is too uh, is very huge and the um, culture is very different. The business model is very different. So we want our children, uh, we want our students to explore the different uh, culture and a different business model. So that's why we have two campers. And as I mentioned before, our uh, graduates first year salary are very high. So you can see these pictures. The blue buttons represent the BFSU uh, graduates starting salary. And the red one is the average level. So you can see the students in finance and economy, international economy and trade and international business. They can get much higher than the average level. I think there are two main reasons why our students are very uh, competitive. So the first one is uh, our professors, our faculties. So some of the professors are from overseas and some of them are Chinese professors, but all of them uh, have a very well uh, educated background. They all study overseas or they all teach overseas. They do, uh, they all do some kind of research overseas. For example, Mr. Luca, he is from Harvard University and Karen, she is from Harvard University as well. And besides that, we have cooperation with more than 400 universities in different countries. Uh, so this will give you the opportunity to study in another country like US, UK, Australia for one semester. So this will give you um, more uh, opportunity to see the different world, to learn new knowledge. And uh, the second reason is about uh, the practice. 
perspective because we don't only want our students to sit in the classroom to read. We want them to go outside to see what is the real business like. So we have immersion week every semester. So um, in uh, it's one week and you will go and visit four to six different companies. Some of them are Chinese company and some of them are, are international company. For example, uh, in the past, we visit Google, uh, ITE and Baidu and Huawei. So uh, many students use this opportunity to find the intern and even find the job. And uh, I would like to see we spend many um, time and we uh, we have one faculty to focus on the cooperation with this kind of companies. So this is, I think this is one of the main reason that uh, our students can find job and earn high salary when they graduate. And now let's move to our campus. I will show you some pictures about our uh, two campus. First, let's move to Beijing one. So uh, in Beijing, uh, we have the East campus and the West campus. This is the West campus. And if you go across the row, you will see the East campus. This is our sports center. And uh, this is a swimming pool. Uh, the Olympic size swimming pool. This is the, my favorite part. And it also has gym, also has basketball um, room. So you can do a lot of exercise there. And this is our library. So you can see many characters outside. Actually, uh, they have the same meaning library, but in different language. Some for example, uh, some of them are in English, in uh, Khmer, and in Vietnamese. So if you have a chance to visit or study in BFSU, you can go there and find uh, your own language there. And this is our Foshan campus. Foshan campus is a very new campus, which is established in 2015. So uh, this one is very similar with the Malaysia one. We also call it Twin Tower. Uh, on the top is the dormitory for students, and the middle is the classroom, and uh, uh, the third floor is a cafeteria for students, and the uh, ground floor is the sub way and the shopping mall. It is very convenient. This one is the finance room. Uh, this one is the library. And in the teaching area, we'll make it in different colors because we want our students' life more colorful. And this is a big cafeteria in the uh, third floor. And it has many places to relax, to read, or to do the group work. And besides the uh, study part, we organize many activities for students. For example, we have the uh, student union and we have the Olympic game and we have the international culture festivals and we have the welcome party for, um, a new, for freshmen each semester. And about this part, I also invite one of my students from US to share his experience uh, to in study uh, uh, in BFSU because uh, it's in the pandemic and uh, we all study online. So I want to give you some ideas about uh, except study online, what can you do uh, in the pandemic? Hello, Anson. Uh, hello, Jingjing, Jing. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So I will uh, stop my uh, sharing and you can share your slides and uh, share your ideas. OK. Oh, uh, Jingjing, Jing, do you by chance have my slides with you? Uh, my computer is having a little issues, so I'm actually participating oh, okay. through my through my phone on Zoom instead. Oh, OK, sure. I will share your slides. One minute. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, no problem. OK, one minute. I'll open it. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, no okay. problem. I'm very happy to share my experience here with everybody about BFSU and my uh, 
student experience so far here in Beijing. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you, Jingjing. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Anson. I'm from the United States. Um, I'm currently on in the second semester of my first year here at BFSU. I'm currently a graduate student in the uh, International Business Program at IBS. And uh, I'll share a little bit about uh, my journey here in China, why I chose China and BFSU, and a little bit about Beijing itself. Uh, so the first slide will be about uh, why I chose China. So obviously China is going to be one of the largest economies currently. Um, we're basically witnessing a huge transition. So uh, China right now is providing a lot of different opportunities for people who uh, want to have a global career, um, want to experience things internationally and also see a different culture that's completely unique from a lot of different ones out there. Um, I think one of the most exciting parts about why I chose China is to see the digital development and how much the technology has changed and advanced uh, compared to a lot of other countries out there. Uh, China is also going to be very important going forward in the future. Um, as you can see, it's going to probably be the largest economy here very soon. Um, it's just going to be more and more globally important. Um, and this will also be very relevant to future career prospects. If people want to have an international career, China in one way or the other will most likely be a part of that. or impact you, influence you, can you better. Um, I am half Chinese, but uh, I don't speak it fluently. So I think being in the environment is really a very beneficial and important if somebody wants to really learn a language. Um, I think Chinese expression in a business environment is gonna be very helpful if you know at least some of the basic or intermediate stuff, but the better you know the language, the more it can only really help you. And China's just got a very deep history. It has a lot of different cultural traditions uh, that help a lot for you to really learn about it more in depth and to have a stronger understanding going forward if you're going to do any business meetings or uh, talk with any Chinese people in the future. And as I mentioned, I'm, I also had reasons to come back to kind of trace back to my own roots. Um, so why I chose Beijing and Bei Wai? Well, Beijing is one of the largest cities, obviously, in China. Um, and it's got a deep history. I think one of the things that make Beijing stand out compared to a lot of the other large Chinese cities is it has a, both a mixture of modernism and history together. A lot of large Chinese cities out there, and I've been to a lot of them, are uh, mostly just skyscrapers. We'll have a little bit of history here. They're very internationalized, which is great, but Beijing has a, a great blend of that. Uh, you get to see a lot of the, you know, a lot of the tourist sites, but the city itself blends a lot of the two together. So you have a deep understanding, you get to see a lot of the cultural roots itself in China and experience a lot of the modern sites. So uh, I think that's one of the unique standing points about choosing Beijing and also with Bei Wai. Um, Beijing itself has a lot of different global companies out there to have that have a lot of the other modern cities have at the same time. Uh, Beijing is also located in a very convenient location that's easy to travel to throughout the country um, and also internationally as well if you want to travel outside. Uh, there's plenty of sites to see. And then Haidian District within China is probably one of the most well-known educational districts uh, in China. Um, the Beiwai campus is beautiful as seen from the picture we have here. And then also surrounding campuses around are also very pretty um, and can give you a good taste and feel of what the campuses are like in China. Uh, BFSU IBS especially gives you a lot of different opportunities as well uh, to provide like different immersion weeks, uh, ways to experience with different companies throughout Beijing and to help you with a lot of different opportunities to help improve yourself and also progress within your future career as well. Uh, this, there's a very strong teacher base too, which is why I chose Bei Wai. I've had some great teachers there who have taught me a lot, of different, a lot of different things regarding international business and the school itself provides you a lot of different options as well and teaches you a lot of different areas uh, re regarding international business if that's kind of the field you choose. Um, and as, as Jing Jing had uh, mentioned as well, the school is really well known for languages. So um, if you want to learn Chinese as well, at the same time as business uh, skill sets, I don't think there's a better place you can pick than uh, Beijing Foreign Studies University. They're probably the most well known for it in the whole uh, country. And they have a, great, a lot of great teachers who will help you uh, get to the point you want to be with your language skills as well. Uh, so around Beijing, just to show you kind of some fun sites, uh, some pictures I've taken and things you can do, or I mean student life, I'm sorry. Let me go with student life first. Uh, so a campus, uh, these are some of the photos I've taken. Uh, this is the West Campus and then the library as well. And then some of the other areas, just the natural beauty of the campus itself evolves. Um, some of the facilities as well, Bay White has is continually improving and providing more modern facilities. Uh, they have a great gym. 
uh, a very updated pool. And then they also recently updated the basketball courts outside on the courts. So there's a lot of ways you, for you to stay active. Uh, Beijing Foreign Studies Library itself is also very unique and well-known throughout the country and internationally, as you can see with the unique lettering. Uh, it's a very active student life outings out there and a lot of groups that you can participate in. Um, and it's a very convenient vacation for you to go out and do things. So, and I think one of the best things I like about it is they give you a, a lot of opportunities and classroom environments to easily engage with Chinese students. Um, I, I really like having a lot of Chinese classmates because you're gonna learn a lot more with uh, just cultural differences, the language you're gonna work with them and share different perspectives. It really helps out a lot. And then campus life a little bit, just to show you some of the um, interior photos. Yeah, so uh, the campus life, that's a picture of inside the library or probably a lot of you know, students know this is where you spend a good chunk of your time. So it's very important to have a good learning environment. Uh, this is a picture of me with some of my Chinese classmates here. We're enjoying some Western food and Chinese food. And then a picture of the gym and then also the dorm setting. So you can kind of have an idea. You can have a bunk bed uh, partner and then there's plenty of room for you to study within your own room as well. So and it's very clean and tidy too. And then also some of the other campus live photos, just to show you with some of the other student groups. Um, if you don't mind going to the next one there, Jing Jing. Oh, cool. Oh, so uh, yeah, around Beijing a little bit. Um, these are some photos I took, Sen Li Tun, uh, which is one of the most well-known shopping centers throughout China, very modern, all the brands you can want, anything you need, you can usually find there. Uh, like I had mentioned, the transportation route Beijing is very easy to get to know of and get a hang of. Uh, the subway system is terrific. It goes throughout the whole city. And then as you can see with all the bikes here, uh, this is literally just around the corner from the campus uh, Bay Wai. Uh, you won't have any trouble finding a bike or a scooter if you need to get around to places. Uh, it's very convenient. Your Chinese classmates will be more than welcome to help you and teach you how to get started. Um, and then this picture of uh, the Great Wall I took as well. So obviously this is probably one of the most well-known spots and uh, tourist areas that anybody would want to see in Beijing. And, you know, it's right here, uh, right next to the Beijing campus too, and very easy to get to. And I think uh, it might be one more slide, uh, Jing Jing. Yes, it's a little bit slow, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, as you see, uh, Beijing has got just a, a great mixture of both history and modernism. And this is the last slide I have to share with you guys. Uh, this is just to show you what downtown Beijing looks like. Um, you know, we've had the different Olympic events here in Beijing as well. So, um, you know, if you think some of the other cities in like Guangdong or Shanghai are more modern than Beijing, uh, it's not the case at all. You know, Beijing is very modern at the same time. Uh, and it just gets to be more and more that way with each year. And then, uh, you know, with the Olympics happening here as well, uh, I'm sure there's going to just be more international influence and more opportunities for students to get involved with uh, progressing their Chinese, uh, you know, life over here, their student life, and, you know, hopefully a future career in China and in Beijing as well. So I definitely recommend uh, Beiwai University uh, for a lot of different reasons. And the business school there is great. So uh, that's all I have there for you, Jingjing. Thank you, everybody. Hey, thank you so much, Anson. Actually, we have many excellent students like Anson. They're from uh, German, uh, they're from US, they're from Canada. And we have a uh, two plus two program with one Canadian university. And the students tell me our teaching uh, uh, level is the same with their university. So if you study in BFSU, you will feel that our teaching uh, faculty are very professional. So let's move back to our programs. So for a bachelor, we have this kind of program, both in English and in Chinese. For master study, we have international business and finance and MBA, both in English and Chinese. Besides the certificate study, we also, uh, besides the degree study, we also have certificate. Uh, this kind of a program is for short-term study. You can study one semester or one year instead of two year and four year. And we also have language like Chinese and uh, um, or Chinese or practice Chinese or business Chinese. So you can find many different uh, courses in BFSU. 
And here is some details about the course. Uh, let's take one as an example for master study. It's two year program, and this is the fee. Uh, it's only available for full semester, but for the bachelor study in English, it's available uh, for spring semester and for uh, and fall semester. So let's go back to master study. So for master study, you need to graduate from. Uh, university successfully and you need to get else uh, 6.5 or equivalent level in order to register and for Chinese uh, for Chinese told master you need to get HSK 6. And the last part is about the scholarship. So far in China, we have three different kinds of scholarship. The first one is Chinese government scholarship and the second one is provincial scholarship. And the third one is uh, university own scholarship, uh, except the first one, Chinese government scholarship, the students have to apply themselves. And the next two, we will have students to apply. So that will help, uh, that will save time and more effectively. And we, uh, we help students as much as we can. We often try our best to, to help students, no matter where are they from or no matter uh, which uh, kind of program they want to enroll in. And uh, uh, I think this is the end of my presentation. This is our website. Uh, on our website, you can find the details about the curriculum. And this is our, uh, this is my email. And uh, uh, you can also follow our Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any question, you can contact me and co or contact channel automation. Uh, we will help you as much as we can. And thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Jing, for the thank sharing. You. And also thank you, Anson, for sharing his experience studying at BFSU. And we have a couple of questions for BFSU. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, first one is, what are the differences between Beijing and Foshan campus? Okay, thank you. That's a really good question. Actually, the curriculum in Beijing and Foshan is the same, but the scholarship policy is a little bit different. In Beijing, it's, the fir uh, it's a freshman scholarship. So that means it's only for first year. In the second year, you need to use the first year uh, transcript, your academic performance to reapply again. But in Foshan, it's four year or it's two year. You don't need to apply again. So that's the only difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that. And then I think we have a question from the student yeah. here, uh, from mm -hmm. Meng Hun. Uh, mm -hmm. It's actually about the international business program. So I think he's a bit confused on whether he needs to study the program in both English or Chinese or just English. Okay, thank you for the question. So let's take international business as an example. If you choose the English taught program, so most of your course is taught in uh, English, but you have to learn Chinese as a second language like uh, four to six hours per week. So uh, the, the other course will be teach them in English, but you still need to take the Chinese course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understood, that's very clear. Right, okay, so what you. are the employment and internship opportunities if students study at BFSU? Oh, that's a really good one. As I mentioned before, because we have uh, many cooperation with the different companies. So uh, normally, uh, if the company uh, have the, uh, they want to hire some student, they will send us the job description directly and we will draw to student group. And we also will recommend uh, our well, we also recommend some uh, excellent student to the company. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say that if you want to uh, do the intern, maybe in your first year, uh, you can practice your Chinese a little bit because normally the company really like the student who can speak Chinese and who can speak English. They will get more opportunity to get the intern. And many uh, of our students use the uh, immersion week to find their in turn because they can get the contact from that company and they can send the CV to the company directly. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think yeah. the final question is about uh, CSC scholarship. So some of the students here are asking whether they can apply for CSC scholarships to, uh, that, to cover 
for bachelor or master's program at B at BFSU IBS. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, as I mentioned before, they can ask apply the CSC from of uh, themselves from the embassy if they uh, need any support document like the conditional offer or other suggestions they can feel free to contact us or contact channel admission they can uh, in short they can apply CSC for bachelor and master mm -hmm. okay very clear thank you yeah, so thank much you. Uh, Jing Lashu for sharing everything about the FSU. Okay, and yeah, we're you. glad to have you here. And thanks a lot once again for spending your time for this yeah, online Thank you day. so much. Okay, yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah, now we have another, the last university, uh, we, which is the International MBA, Fudan University MIT International MBA. So, Hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes, Devin, we can hear you. Okay, great. So first, uh, let me uh, share my screen. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Devin Zhu from Fudan MIT International MBA program. Uh, it is so nice to be here to present our program to all of you and uh, share with you the most updated information about our program. Okay, before we get started, uh, actually I prepared two questions for you guys. Uh, the two questions are very simple, but I think they are the fundamental questions you need to ask yourself before you make your final decision to pursue your MBA in China. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. It's why MBA in China? You know, every year we have many international students coming to the, our campus and uh, we ask them the same question. Uh, the majority of the international students, they really want to get connected with Asia, especially in China. We can see on the slide, uh, they want to dig out more information and resources in Asia and China, and also want to explore more uh, business insights and a culture in this region. Besides that, uh, the international students, they also want to level up their management skills and uh, in the meantime, uh, advance their career development after graduation. Okay, let's move on to the second question. Why MBA in Fujian? Uh, I know many international students pay great attention to the reputation of a university and school. So they do the research on Google and uh, sometimes check the information on Facebook, on LinkedIn. So they uh, check the rankings of the university and the program, and uh, they are interested in the water maps of the, of the program. In the meanwhile, uh, they... Uh, the global perspective and the teaching excellence that the FUDA MB pro program can offer really impress quite a lot of international students. Finally, it's about the city, it's quite interesting. Uh, many international students are interested uh, in the city of Shanghai. They want to experience the study and the living in this city. Okay, next, I'm gonna give you the brief introduction from the six aspects of, about, uh, about our program. So I'm gonna talk more, talk a little bit about the Fudan University and the management school. And then I will talk about the MBA programs that the Fudan University offers, especially the Fudan MIT International MBA program. And then we will have a look at the class profile. Finally, uh, the last but not least, we talk about the scholarship and how you are gonna get your application started. Okay, first, let's have a look at the university. Uh, Fudan University uh, actually is one of the oldest and most uh, prestigious universities in China. Uh, it was founded in 1905, so up to now, uh, it has uh, more than 115 years history. And you know what, uh, Fudan University is also the first learning institution in China to set up the business education. We can see currently we have 35 schools and departments and uh, every year we have more than 25,000 uh, full-time uh, students on the campus. And among all the students, we have over 
uh, 3,600 international students. So it means that when you get yourself immersed in the Oriental culture, the business environment, you will never feel alone because you can meet different people from different countries with diversified background. Okay, after talk about the university, let's move on to the School of Management. The Futa uh, School of Management established business discipline in 1917. So it means uh, just like the university, the business education here in uh, Fudan uh, was also over 100 years. And uh, also it is the farthest school to attend both, both ASSB and Equis accreditations in the world. And also the School of Management in Fudan uh, is the China's only business school with five programs ranking top 100 global EMBA MBA programs by Financial Times. Okay, so since we talk about the rankings before, uh, I show you more details about MBA programs. Uh, I want to share with you a good news of this year. So uh, the FT uh, Financial Times just released the global MBA ranking 2021 this September. And the good news is that the Fuda MBA program ranked number 32 worldwide. And it is number one among business schools of Chinese mainland universities. So sometimes when we talk about the ranking, uh, it is a number, right? But behind the number, there's quite a lot we can dig out. And for Fuda MB program, uh, it maintained global leading positions in many key uh, ranking criteria. The first I want to point out here is a salary percentage increase compared with many uh, leading business schools globally. The uh, salary increase of our students reached more than, uh, reached almost 200%, which is quite impressive. And also, Food MB program ranked number one in three criteria among business schools of Chinese Manila University. We can see uh, the international faculty, the international course experience, and FT research. And also, for full time MB students, I know everyone is quite uh, concerned about the career development. Uh, what will be uh, what we, you guys will uh, will be going after the graduation? So here we can see the career service at uh, Fuda MB program ranked number uh, twenty one worldwide. Compared with last year, the position is up by twenty one positions. Okay, after talking about the ranking, let's move on the MB program that Fuda University offers. Uh, on the left side of the Slides, we can see it is a full-time MBA program, which we call it Fuda MIT International MBA program. The program was taught in English, and the duration of the program is two years. It is full-time. And the location of your study will be in Shanghai, but you have abundant opportunity to go abroad to experience the overseas uh, study. And it uh, starts every September. On the right side of this slide is the other, is the other MBA program we call the Fuda MBA. It is a part-time MBA program, which is taught in Mandarin, in Chinese. So if even if you are, a, if you are an international student, if you have a good score in the HSK, the language test, language test uh, and uh, you want to meet uh, the local students in your class, uh, the part-time maybe is another option for you. The duration of this program is uh, 2.5 years. It is part-time and the location is also in Shanghai and it starts every September as well. Okay, I want to show you more details about Fuda MIT International MBA program this time. This program was launched in 1996 through the close collaboration between Fuda University and MIT Sloan Management School. Uh, the purpose of this program is to cultivate the young elites with global perspective and local insight. Here is uh, uh, what your two year studies look like. So uh, here is the roadmap of your journey. Uh, it has uh, two years uh, starting. So the first year will cover the first semester and second semester. During the first year of study, you will have your compulsory courses and also you will experience the MIT courses and the lectures which was taught by MIT professors. So every year the professor from MIT, they will fly to our campus. 
but uh, uh, due to the pandem pandemic situation currently, uh, the MIT courses will be held online. And uh, also, uh, in the first year of study, we have the action learning, we call it the ILAB project, which help our students to put what they learned into practice. I'm going to show you more, more, I'm going to show you more details later. In the second year of study, uh, which covers the third semester and the fourth semester, uh, you will have more options. So if you want to stay here in Shanghai with us, you can take the elective courses at Fudan Management School. If you want to experience uh, the exchange program, we offered the over 100 uh, seats uh, um, uh, among the 100 uh, business schools to uh, give you opportunity to experience the ex exchange program. Or if you want to have your second degree program, you can uh, apply at the end of your first semester and the second year, you will go to North America to have your second year started. In the final semester, you will prepare your dissertation and oral defense, and then, congratulations, you will prepare for the graduation. And uh, there's one thing I want to emphasize here on this roadmap is that because the for full time students, uh, career de development is quite important. So that's why uh, work closely with the career de development office in the school. From the first uh, uh, from the first day you join the program to the end of the graduation, the career courses related, the career uh, counseling will cover your whole uh, semesters, uh, the two years, which help our students to prepare the job hunting after the graduation. Okay, here we can see the details of the curriculum. So we offer the three semester coursework which includes the 13 compulsory courses, which covers the marketing, strategic, uh, strategic management, uh, finance. And also we offered over 40 electives covers the entrepreneurship investment. You can choose among all the electives which is related to the industry you are interested in. Okay, here I talk more about the overseas opportunity. In the previous slides, uh, I, uh, I show you the opportunities of a global exposure. Here is the details. So if you are interested in your second degree, uh, the first year, you will stay in Shanghai, in Fudan, to have your, second, you have your first year study. And the second year, you will go to North America. Here we work with three top universities in North America to offer you uh, the second degree uh, opportunity. The first one is definitely uh, MIT, uh, uh, Sloan uh, Management School. And also we work with Yale University, the School of Management, and the Schulich Business School uh, in York University in Canada. So uh, once you finish the two years study, you will have two degrees from both uh, Fudan and the other business school in North America. Uh, for the middle term uh, exchange program, yeah, we have more than 100 seats for you to choose. And also we have the short courses and summer programs for international students to experience uh, their uh, global classroom. Okay, after talk about the curriculum and uh, the overseas opportunity, let's move on to the action learning. Uh, because we know for the MB study, uh, it is a business practice based study. The learning, what you learn, uh, what you learn in classroom is never enough, right? So that's why we established the action learning, the Food and the ILAB since 2005. So our students will uh, work as a consulting team to take the brief from the business partners and help them to solve the real business problem uh, when they uh, have the challenge or problem, uh, get the entrance to China market. So it's kind of the win-win situation. For our students, uh, during the practice of the consulting project, they can put what they learned into practice and uh, even they can get the internship and also the job offer from the companies. From the company side, uh, they uh, take the advice and the suggestions from our students, which is helpful for them to build their business in China. Here we can see since 2005, the MBI lab have completed more than 240 projects with over 200 domestic and international partner companies. 
and over 1,000 1, students participated in the ILAB projects. Okay, next we move on to the graduation. So you must be very interested in uh, the topic, where are students uh, going after the graduation? So here, uh, the average number of, our, of the job offer our students get is three. And uh, over 90% of our students changed their career industry or function after the graduation. Here we can see many big names on the screen. Uh, there are some high-tech companies such like the Amazon, Alibaba, Huawei, Microsoft, and uh, ByteDance, which is a company host TikTok. And also we have uh, the consulting companies like KPMG, PwC, and also some medical companies like uh, Medtronic. So because Food and MB program is kind of the general management, our students are from different uh, industries. So uh, I know some programs are uh, the finance driven, finance oriented, but uh, for Food and MB program, we can see our students, uh, the companies we are going are quite diversified. Okay, uh, here is a brief uh, look at the, our students' profile. Uh, take the example of the class of 2021. Every year for Fudan uh, MIT International MBA program, we recruit around 100 students and 80% of the students are local. They are from the city of Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Taipei. And uh, the rest, 20% uh, uh, of the students are international students. They are coming from the Southeast Asia, such like Singapore, Thailand, uh, Indonesia, and also from the uh, East Asia, like Japan, South Korea, and also quite a few are from North America, like US and Canada, and also another group of students are from Europe, uh, such like UK, France, Italy. And the average age of the, our students is 28, and the average working experience is 5.6 uh, years. And uh, we can see the percentage of women is 20% and the class internationalization is over 40%. Because I mentioned earlier, we have the both full-time and the part-time MBA program. For the full-time MBA program, every year there are 100 students, but for part-time MBA, we recruit around uh, 750 students uh, each year. So it means that uh, besides the classmates on your class, you can meet different uh, uh, the domestic and the international students from different backgrounds with uh, part-time classmates. Okay, here are the details of the student profile. We can see the academic background. Uh, around 88 uh, have the bachelor degree and uh, about 12 have the master degree. For the working experience, the average working experience is 5.6 years with over 50 uh, working experience is between two and five. For the career position, the majority of our students are occupied at the management level or as a specialist. And for the industry, I mentioned earlier, uh, our students are quite diversified in their career background. We can see uh, they are from finance, uh, financial service, industry products, telecom, education, logistics. So it, mean, it means that uh, in your class, uh, the people from different uh, career backgrounds, from different industry. It is easy and uh, more uh, inspirations from each other. Okay, after talk about the student profile, we move on to the scholarships we offer to international students. We can see on this slide, we offer the three man can uh, uh, man uh, can of scholarship to international students. The first is the GMAT scholarship. So if you already have the GMAT score or you prepare to take the GMAT, if you get enrolled by this project uh, and your score is 650 and above, you will guarantee to have the scholarship uh, of 40,000 RMB. And if your score is over 750, you will definitely have the 100% tuition fee as the scholarship. Okay, the second uh, main category of the scholarship for international students is entry scholarship, which is tailor-made for international students. We can see on the list, there are diversity scholarship, entrepreneurship scholarships, 
excellent scholarships, winning leadership scholarships, social responsibility, and young talent scholarships. So uh, for this kind of scholarships, you don't have to apply for it separately. During your application, uh, once our admission team review your background and your performance, and they find your background match with each category, uh, you will get the scholarship automatically. And finally, uh, I will introduce the Xinchuan Belt and Road Scholarship, which was launched last year, just launched last year. Uh, according to the policy of China government uh, about the Belt and Road Initiative, so for the countries uh, join this BRI, uh, we give the opportunity uh, to international students uh, who is from these regions uh, working on the uh, BRI. Uh, we will sponsor them with uh, uh, the amount of over 250,000 RMB for each uh, international student. Okay, finally, uh, we uh, talk about the application. First is about the basic requirement of the application. Uh, we can see uh, you must have a recognized bachelor degrees from university or a master degree. And uh, we suggest you need to have the two years full-time working experience. And uh, during your application, you need to prepare your resume, academic transcripts, the degree copies, and also the two recommendation letter letters. And uh, also better you have the GMAT or GIE uh, scores. Once you submit your application, our admission team will review your background and invite you to take the interviews. After the interview, you will know uh, the status of your uh, interview. Uh, you will get the offer or you get the conditional offer. So if you are interested in the program and uh, get ready to get enrolled this year, there's one last round of application of this year, 2021. The deadline of the application is the end of April. So if you want to get enrolled this year, uh, it is suggested that you get uh, started as soon as possible. And uh, finally, it's about the duration fee. It's around uh, three, uh, 320,000 RMB, including the textbook and handout. Uh, it covers two years. Okay, uh, for more details, maybe you can go to our website to check more details. And uh, here's our contact, our email, imba at fudan.edu.cn. Uh, just if you have any question, don't hesitate to drop the message to us. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I would be like to glad to answer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, David, for uh, sharing all the information about the Fudan University MBA program. Yes, there are a couple of questions from the students about this program. So the first one is, about uh, dual degree opportunities, but in this case, it's not about doing a dual degree at Fudan University and the one in the US, but what about if students wants to, let's say, take MBA program at Fudan University, but they also want to study other master's program at Fudan University, for example, master's in engineering program, would it be possible to do it in uh, Fudan University? And how's the startup culture for uh, businesses in China? Okay. Okay. So for the question about like currently we uh, we only offer the dual degree uh, uh, with uh, three schools and offer the MBA degree and uh, currently we don't have the collaboration with other master degrees program. But uh, for the Fujian uh, uh, courses, it is a welcome to, for everyone to join the class in different programs. So if you want to experience the different courses in different programs, uh, yeah, you are, very, you are more than welcome to join us. So, but currently we don't offer any uh, the dual degree, uh, which covers MBA or other, with other uh, degree programs. Mm -hmm. Right, and then the next question from Angela is mainly about, oh, do you have any tips uh, for international students to prepare for their interview? Uh, for interview, that's a great question. Okay, so first, uh, because for the proce procedure of the uh, the application, so first I mentioned that you will you need to prepare all the documents and the information to fill out all the uh, application. So 
after you submit, the admission team will review the background and then you will take the interview. Uh, for the interview, uh, there will be two professors from the school to have the uh, around 30 minutes interview with you. It is, uh, uh, the interview is in English. So my suggestion is that it actually is quite simple, just to be yourself. Because during your application, you already uh, show uh, every details about yourself and uh, the professor, before the interview, the professors already read uh, every details about you. So uh, if the question is more about yourself. So, but there's one thing I want to point out that because uh, for international students, uh, if you choose to pursue your MBA in China, I think you can prepare a little bit about uh, your planning. So why you want to pursue your MBA here in China? Uh, especially during this pandemic, pandemic situation. So the, your clear uh, planning for the future is quite important. And also think about uh, your background and uh, how you, got, you can contribute to the class once you uh, get your MBA started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understood, thank you. Thanks a lot. It's going to be very helpful for students to prepare for the application and also for their interview later. So uh, I remember you mentioned about the Sinquan uh, Belt and Road Scholarships. Yes. And it is a very, very, you know, like interesting and exciting scholarships. So what mm -hmm. exactly is the requirements uh, for students who wants to be able to get the scholarships? Okay, so actually for the uh, requirement for this kind of scholarship, uh, it's, quite, it, it's quite simple. If you are from, the regions which sign the, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative. I mean, it is a policy between governments, right? So if you're from these regions or country, uh, that you have the opportunity. So for the requirements, the other requirement is just the requirements uh, for every applicant. So uh, what you need to do is just uh, uh, meet the basic requirement of this program and uh, show the best uh, side of yourself and uh, uh, just to show some shining points of yourself. So if you, yeah, you, you can just give some, your, unique, your, your uniqueness to the interviews, I think that would be much helpful. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah, I think the one final question, uh, you know, with a lot of top universities in China offering MBA programs nowadays, so what do you think is the main, like the main point or, or like the main advantage or like what, what do you think, like what's the reason why international students should apply for the Fudan University's IMBA program? Okay, uh, that's actually the great question. That's the thing is that for, yeah, there's many MBA programs in mm -hmm. China. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, for, for, actually for local students, uh, it is more easy for them to maybe they can pay a visit to the campus. It's more convenient mm -hmm. for them to experience the uh, the open day, uh, the open day of the campus, and experience uh, maybe the some public courses that would be easy. But for international students, sometimes they can only do some research online. So maybe I I suggest is that uh, once you compare with uh, the different uh, uh, MBA program, first is that. Uh, you need to set up a clear goal about uh, why you want to pursue your MBA in China. So, and then you check the rankings, such like the rankings of the, uh, by the different, like the Financial Times or QS, and uh, to see the advantage of different universities can offer to you. And for Fudan University, I mentioned, because first, it is a comprehensive university. Uh, what we have is not only business schools, so we have the 33, uh, sorry, 35 uh, schools uh, uh, around the campus, right? So if your background is medical, is medicine, or uh, your background is journalism, or, uh, or any, any major, so the linkage uh, within this campus is quite strong. So what you can enjoy the resources or connection with not just uh, the business school, but uh, with other schools. So many that is one uh, advantage of the Fudan University. And also Fudan is quite good, have a good reputation about uh, the Oriental culture. 
and also Fudan is the first uh, university to give the language, uh, uh, how to say, the learning, the courses to international students in China. So actually the students here, when they get themselves immersed in, uh, in the campus, they, they can experience our own culture, especially the business. So that is another advantage of the food and program offer. And also, uh, I think uh, also uh, another key criteria, just like the ranking shows, uh, we have a, a great advantage to help our students to prepare to prepare their career development after the graduation. Mm -hmm. So I think the three points, maybe, uh, maybe the students can do some research online to check more details. For sure, yeah. Thanks a lot for all the sharing today, Davin. We really appreciate uh, you joining this online open day to give the students more insights about Food and University IMBA program. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice Bye. day, too, too. Okay, guys, so... All the five universities have shared uh, their information about the programs update for 2021 intake, about the programs they offer, about the admissions update for September 2021 intake. And so we, are, we come to the next part, which is, so how to apply to Chinese University. So you have heard all the useful information about the program. Maybe you have, you know, you have one programs in mind already that you want to apply for, for uh, to start your study this year. So how you can apply at Chinese universities. So first of all, uh, you can actually apply on China admissions platform, which is, it's over here. It's the link there, apply.chinadesadmissions.com slash search. But before that, I will let you know some of the reasons why you should be applying on China admissions. So the first one is that uh, it's because our platform is actually free of charge. So we don't charge any service fee to help you apply. It is actually 100% free because we are funded by the universities because we have cooperation with the universities in China. And so you will only need to pay the application fee as required by the university. And the next part is that it's because China Admissions is a one platform for all, which means you can search and apply to multiple universities in just one platform, in just one click on China Admissions platform, uh, in just one click on China Admissions platform. So there's no need for you to fill in the application form on, you know, like three different universities platform, for example, because you can only do it, you can do it once, all at once at China Admissions. And last but not least, our team is responsive. We are reachable. Uh, anytime on email, WhatsApp, and you can also schedule a call with us so we can guide you further with your uh, preparation and also with your application to Chinese universities. And the next part is about the application process. So the universities today have already shared and also have already explained to you about the application process to apply to Chinese universities so you can study with them. So I will just give a brief explanation about how to complete your application and how you can start your application for September 2021 intake. So first of all, you have to obviously choose the program that you want to apply for, and then you can apply online. You can actually complete the online application, filling in the personal information, education background, and then after that, you can upload the required documents. And then last step would be to pay the application fees, and then you can submit the application. So. How to apply? As I mentioned before, you can apply on China Admissions. The link is over there. It's apply.chinadesadmissions slash search. And again, we don't charge any service fee to help you apply. It is 100% free because we're funded by the universities in China. And so uh, here's more detailed about our platform. So if I zoom it in, you can see this page. And then you can actually search the program that you want to uh, study in China. For example, you can type the keyword like business or MBBA or computer science or MBA or international business, international economics and trade, anything. You can just type the program of your interest there and then you will find uh, the programs that you can apply for in China. And most of the programs available on China, available to display on China missions are English top programs for international students. And then after that, you can just uh, select the program that you want to apply for and then eventually start your online application. It's actually very simple. You only need about 10, 15 minutes to complete the whole thing. So first, you're going to need to create your account. You can register with your name and your email and also password. And then after that, you can 
fill in the online application and then you just need to upload the required documents and there will be a list of all the required documents you need for your application and after that you need to pay the application fees so university application fee is about uh, 80 to 150 dollar each and the application fee is non-refundable and it is required by the university in order to process your application prepare and also send the admissions notice and visa form to your home address and after that so after you have completed all the three steps i mentioned earlier then your application is submitted on channel admissions and then channel admissions will do double checks on your application will make sure that you have completed all the all the of uh, application form and then you have uploaded all the required documents and we will make sure that your documents is already according to the university standard as well so once everything is completed and ready we will then submit your application to the university and then you need to wait for the university decision because they will need to review your application and then if you pass the initial review then some universities actually majority of the universities will invite you for an online interview to get to know you better and after uh, you finish the online interview then the university will make the final decision whether to accept you or not and then if you are accepted the university will then uh, sorry if you are accepted the university will then send you a pre-admissions notice where it says that congratulations you are accepted to study at let's say uh, Fudan University or like BFSU or ABS and then after that uh, university will ask you to pay the deposit fee to the university in order to secure your seat and to confirm your acceptance so you need to send the deposit fee payment to the university bank account and once you send it then the university will send the visa form and also admissions notice to your home address so you can eventually apply for the visa at the chinese embassy and then fly to china but uh, nowadays, because there is this uh, COVID-19 pandemic going on all around the world and China and Chinese government is still closing the border for international students, therefore, the university will only send the visa form and admissions notice once Chinese government decided to reopen the border for international students. And so the teaching method for the September 2021 intake remains undecided. So whether it will be online or on campus, it's going to be depends on the Chinese government's uh, policy and it's going to be depends on the Chinese government's arrangement as well, especially related to the border reopening for international students. So once the border reopened for international students, then the university will send you the visa form and admissions notice to invite you to come to China and so you can study on campus at the university. And regarding when will the border be open, uh, everybody, including us and also the universities, are all still waiting for the official update from the Chinese government regarding this. So we shall wait for the best. And I think we should really be like stay hopeful and then keep preparing for your online applications to Chinese universities so you can start your study ASAP. And then these are some of the updates about online events that you can check out. So China admissions regularly have online events available for international students. And then like, uh, if you want to join the Tongji University's Master of Global Management webinar for 2021 applicants, feel free to join, feel free to register as well. It's going to be on March 25th on this Thursday at 5 p.m. Beijing time. And then we have other events as well. For example, the uh, webinar as well for the Finance MBA at Fudan University and then some uh, online free trial, free trial Chinese classes available as well with uh, CLI, Chinese Language Institute, with Dalian News of University of Information. And also we will have another online open day in May as well. So just keep in mind, save the date so you can register later. And this is uh, our blog. And we uh, recently pu published a lot of articles on our blog as well, as well some uh, some study in China guides for you on, let's say, how to write a personal statement on how to apply for scholarships. And also there are some program information as well. And also there are some other useful informations that will help you for your admission. So we will give you some tips and tricks on how to uh, so you can have a successful application. We will also give some recommendations to you regarding the best universities in China that you should be applying for. And then we will, uh, the next part is about our YouTube channel, China Admissions. So not only on our blog, we also do regular updates on our YouTube channel, China Admissions. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do share a lot of 
information on our YouTube channel, like how to get scholarships in China in 2021, how to learn Chinese, or we will also give some other tips and also give some fun facts uh, to you, like some of the some videos about eight reasons to study in Shenzhen or like eight reasons to study in China. We give you some tips on how you can apply, how you can finish your application, and there are also tips about the documents because. Uh, we noticed that a lot of you are asking specifically about the documents required. So we have all the videos you need on our YouTube channel, China Admissions, which, where we discuss about each of the documents and what the Chinese universities are looking for in your documents. So you can prepare the documents according to the university standard. And last but not least, please keep in touch with China Admissions. Again, you can search for programs and then start your online application on China Admissions. The link is over there. It's apply.china-admissions.com slash search. And then you can also reach us by email and also WhatsApp. Uh, you can simply email us on apply at chanaadmissions.com or send us a WhatsApp message on that number. And feel free to stay connected with us as well on our social media like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter. And you can also follow us on WeChat official account to stay connected with us as well. Oh, and one more thing, we have a live chat right now on our platform available. Let me show it to you. So. Yeah, so it's actually over there in the bottom bottom right. Yeah, if you see if you can see it there. Yeah, we have a live chat on our platform as well. So some of our team members are available for you on live chat. So if you have any questions during your application, for example, or maybe when you are doing your research or choosing the program and you have some difficulties, you can now reach us on live chat as well and we will reply back on live chat or on email. Thank you guys again for uh, spending your time to join this online open day. We hope all the information shared with you from all the top five universities and from China Admissions is helpful to prepare for your applications to Chinese universities. And don't forget, uh, you can contact us on email and WhatsApp later if you have further questions. And then you can start your applications on China Admissions and let us know your application ID after you apply so we can check it. And if you need anything, anything at all, feel free to reach us e on email, WhatsApp, or we can also schedule a call to discuss more about your plan to study in China. Again, thank you all, uh, very much for spending your time to join this on an open day and see you on the next event. Bye-bye.